Meanwhile, we are cutting across to live visuals of uh, the meeting that's all set to take place between U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar. Visuals, live visuals on your screens of uh, India's External Affairs Minister S. Jay Shankar receiving U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in India's capital, New Delhi. A crucial meeting, a crucial conversation between the two counterparts. And we're bringing you live visuals from Delhi of this important meeting. Pompeo, keep in mind, is meeting India's External Affairs Minister, who is his counterpart. And uh, this conversation, they are supposed to give a joint statement as well. But this conversation is extremely important from data security fears relating to Huawei to tensions between US and Iran affecting India's oil imports from Iran to other issues like H-1B visas and the all important trade between the two countries in the light of the ongoing US-China trade war. US and China both are trying to woo India, keep in mind, because the trade war has been bleeding both of these countries' economies and the two largest economies in the world that has had a ripple effect on the rest of the global economy. And now, US wants to shore up the deficiencies created by the trade war by wooing India, and so does China. And this, on your screens, ladies and gentlemen, is the US's effort to partner with India on multiple counts, trade being a crucial part of it. There is the H-1B visa issue that India wants sorted out. India also wants clarity on Iranian oil and, of course, the S-400 missile defense deal that India struck with Russia despite sanctions by the U.S. India is expected to convey it clearly to the U.S. that it is in no mood to scrap the S-400 deal with Russia. Pompeo's India visit coming just a couple of days before the G20 summit kicks off in Osaka in Japan. Mike Pompeo's conversation with uh, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is set to lay the groundwork for the bilateral talks between Donald Trump and PM Modi. Our associate editor Ramesh Ramachandran has been keeping a close track of Mike Pompeo's itinerary in New Delhi and he joins us on the phone line. Uh, Ramesh, help us understand all the conversations that Mike Pompeo has in India with PM Modi, with NSA Ajit Doval, all of them are important, but to talk to us about how specifically crucial his conversation with S.J. Shankar is. Well, uh, it is a part of uh, Pompeo's three-day visit to India, the first by any high-level dignitary to be visiting New Delhi since the inauguration of Prime Minister Modi's second term in office. Now, that said, Pompeo has already concluded two meetings this morning, the first with Prime Minister Modi and a second, just uh, just a short while ago, with National Security Advisor Ajit Doval. Now, the, Mo the talks with Prime Minister Modi were essentially laying the groundwork for the Modi-Trump meeting on the margins of the G20 summit in Japan in a few days from now. Also, the other trilaterals uh, on the margins of the summit, namely the JAI or the Japan-America-India trilateral, among the leaders of the three countries, that is uh, Modi, Trump, and Shinzo Abe of Japan, as well as the other trilaterals, the India will be hosting uh, the RIC, Russia, India, China. So clearly, this was a visit which was essentially laid a groundwork for the Modi meetings in Japan. But that said, the operative part of his meeting today will be with S. Jayashankar, India's new foreign minister. And one can expect all issues of bilateral interest, especially trade, tariffs, technology and terrorism to figure in, in their discussions uh, moments from now and uh, the, both uh, the leaders can be expected to hold a joint press statement at about 2 p.m. India time and Pompeo will conclude his day's engagements by holding a public lecture later in the evening at about 7 p.m. New Delhi time before flying out tomorrow morning to Japan for the G20 summit. So that sums up Pompeo's talks in New Delhi but the significance of the visit will be to iron out differences on a host of issues, be it trade, be it uh, the defense and security uh, uh, agreements which India has with Russia, Iran, oil, and so on. So clearly, 
all focus on the Pompeo Jayashankar talks happening now as we speak. All focus on the Pompeo Jayashankar talks uh, as we speak. Uh, our associate editor Ramesh Ramachandran joining us on the phone line over there. Trade, Iran oil, S400, H1B visa, data localization and Huawei set to be on the agenda list. The outcome of these talks will be very crucial because on all these counts, U.S. has been mounting pressure on India. U.S. has been mounting pressure on India not to buy Iran in oil. It has been mounting pressure on India not to buy Huawei's equipment, the Chinese telecom giant's equipment on espionage fears. There's also pressure, to, pressure on India to yield to the U.S. Uh, in the middle of the trade war between U.S. and China. And, of course, the S-400 deal with Russia. But India is said to be making it very clear to the U.S. that uh, Russia is a long-standing defense partner and that the S-400 deal will remain in place and India is in no mood to scrap the S-400 deal.